this Veterans Day, we saw some very real reminders of how some who have served overseas are sometimes left scrambling to adjust as they return home. KCRA 3 Sharakina Shams met one homeless veteran who's now getting some help tackling medical issues, but still waiting on help for other problems. How much of that could you read there? Willie Gibbs was getting a free eye exam today thanks to doctors and nurses running this mobile clinic sponsored by VSP. Once I turned 48, my eyes got to the point where I had trouble seeing up close and far away. Next door, at this clinic staffed by volunteer doctors from UC Davis Med Center, Gibbs and other veterans got blood pressure checks and cancer screenings. Gibbs, who says he served in the Army for seven years, told us he's now living at a shelter. Because my health got bad, and I wasn't able to work anymore, so I couldn't afford to, you know, take care of myself. So that's how I ended up at the shelter. Dr. Daryl Hunter, an Air Force veteran and Kaiser radiation oncologist, started these free services five years ago. He says stories like Willie Gibbs are all too common. Just having psychological trauma of uh, being in the battlefield uh, leaves uh, some of these folks uh, without the ability to take care of themselves. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development estimates more than 12,000 homeless vets live in California. That's one out of every four homeless vets in the country. As for Gibbs, he says he served in Korea and worked for 24 years at Campbell's Soup before he got sick and couldn't work anymore. He now is hoping his homelessness will be only temporary. I just got approved for Social Security disability earlier this month, and I'm waiting for all the paperwork to be done. In Sacramento, Sharkna Shams, KCRA 3 News.